Mary's anointing of Jesus' feet with, his, with the very expensive perfumed oil was certainly an extravagance. Judas estimated that it was worth 300, um, 300 denarii or whatever their money was called at that time. And that would be more than a year's wages. But he didn't think Jesus was worth that because he sold him for just 30 pieces of silver. And um, so Judas in his heart was not really concerned with the poor at all. Mary is an, ex an example of how many times we act more from our heart than we do from our intellect. That's the way Mary was acting. She was recognizing Jesus as the Messiah, the resurrection and the life. And so she was doing what she was doing was a great honor to Christ. And he didn't stop her. He didn't stop her. Nobody could stand up against Jesus in concern for the poor. He constantly talked about care for the poor. The lesson for us, though, is that sometimes we, and even in our day, sometimes so much concern has been for the poor that we forget about Christ. And we have to have a balance there. Jesus is saying that it's so important that he is with us and acknowledging the fact that Mary's act of love was much more important. And so I think the lesson for us is that we realize the great treasure that Jesus is. What we do in beautifying our church and do in spending money um, for the church buildings and so forth because it's an honor for Christ here in this sanctuary. It's because we recognize him as the Lord, the Son of God. And at the same time, we are extravagant in our giving to the poor as much as we can. We need to do both. Isn't it amazing? <clears throat> they wanted to, the chief priests and the leaders wanted to come and see Lazarus, whom Jesus raised from the dead. And then it goes on to say they wanted to kill Lazarus too because many people were beginning to believe in Jesus. Isn't that amazing? They're so stubborn in their blindness and so stubborn in their refusal to even listen to Christ. And to the point where here's someone Jesus raised from the dead that they can see and they want to kill him and Jesus. Makes no sense, does it? But we see how um, self-centeredness and greed and all these things that these leaders were filled with um, can blot out the truth. And so we today give thanks to God that um, not in a proud kind of way, but humbly acknowledging that he has given us the faith to see not only that he raised Lazarus from the dead, but that he himself rose from the dead and promised us that we would one day be united body and soul at the end of time. So as we celebrate the mass, Christ is here. He's here to give us his body and blood and as strength for our journey to eternal life with him. Let us stand and offer our prayers and petitions.